in the data analytics we begin our journey with uh, collecting the big data the data available is so large that uh, without proper uh, working over it no information can be uh, come out so we apply analytics on it and uh, that is going to make a uh, sense out of the big data we have and through analytics decisions are made so at the end of analytics the vision becomes very clear and it becomes very easy to take the decisions so the action done by data analytics is uh, to convert the raw big data into systematically arranged set of decisions so that uh, taking decisions for uh, any given problem becomes easier other way if you look at it uh, there are two approaches for solving any problem one is inductive problem and the other is deductive problem in the inductive problem we first observe observe the data and once uh, data is observed more and more careful of observation of the data you can start finding some patterns in the data so keep finding the patterns and looking at these patterns again and again reinforce something and that something will give birth to some hypothesis so we assume some hypothesis tentatively and then connect our patterns to the hypothesis and uh, with all observations of the data patterns from the data connecting the patterns studying the patterns the hypothesis is built and from that a theory is created so the inductive process begins from the observation and ends at some theory whereas a deductive method it's a other way we begin with some theory that uh, the whole thing is maybe happening because of this thing so from the theory we come out with some hypothesis and then observe the data through the lens of hypothesis observe the data and confirm whether our hypothesis was right or not so the confirmation will tell whether the hypothesis or the observation fits or not if it does fit then automatically it is assumed that the assumed theory is also right so somewhere we begin assuming a theory for the assumed theory we have an hypothesis and this hypothesis is verified using the observed using the observed data and this confirmation of the observation over the hypothesis confirms the theory so that's a deductive approach inductive approach look at the data search for the patterns so while understanding the patterns you uh, come out with some hypothesis and if hypothesis is uh, found to be uh, in at par with the, our observations patterns yes the theory is built so there are two ways of working with our models so creating a model from observation to model 
or I imagine a model and then confirm that that model fits uh, our arguments. So those are the two ways of doing it. Then uh, what uh, data analytics process is? So the whole process uh, begins with uh, deploying the business. We understand the business. So we need to understand the business properly. And after understanding the business, collect the data and then explore the data, prepare data for future work. That means all the anomalies in the data should be removed, noise, all such things should be cleaned, prepare the data for next uh, purpose and then next place we model this data and then evaluate the data. So that's a whole cycle we have, that's one version of the cycle. Other way we can talk, yeah, each one, they have their own way of uh, explaining because we have not yet reached the standards, we are yet in the initial state. So like we have not reached the final state, like we don't have Newton's laws like things. So we are still in the beginning. So every day something new comes out. So somebody pursues in a different way. Standards are yet to be fixed. So on the way as um, possible, we can just keep seeing the various uh, ways this uh, data science life cycle is being introduced to us. So the another way of introduction is to uh, understand the business. So to understand the business uh, as a computer engineer, we need to ask relevant question and define the objectives for the problem that need to be tackled. So being a software professional, we are trying to create a model that can help the business to improve their uh, efficiency. Then this, of course, first thing is we need to understand what the business is. We don't know. So get it from the experts of the business. So domain expertise is required. Once uh, you understand the business, then start knowing what all data is required. So start data mining. Once uh, all the data is uh, collected, then you know uh, data cannot be made available uh, in all the time correct form. So some cleaning is required. So that's what we need to take up next. Once the data is in clean form, start exploring. You form your own hypothesis about the problem, hypothesis about the solution, and try to correlate the hypothesis with the data and all that. Explore the data. And once the data is explored, and in order to solve the problem, the data may not be directly useful. So we need to convert into some other form. So, or in other words, the features of the data need to be defined, extracted from the data. And these features are used for creating a predictive model. And that's a model which takes the input and gives the output. That's what we were expecting. And once the model is ready, then we can again get into visualization and see how things are doing. And uh, that cycle repeats because it's not a one-time activity. On the way, we start from uh, data business understanding and finally created the model and then again looked at uh, 
the model behavior and then realize that something wrong then get back to the domain experts get more insight and then again mine more data then clean it then explore it then feature engineering then predictive model is created again so that cycle continues on and on and on so that's a never ending because uh, either the process was incomplete or the business model keeps changing from time to time therefore we need to make sure to get adjusted to the changes in the business model so whatever the reason is it's a cyclic process and has to be done in cycles repeated again and again and again 